Hi guys, this is Stu for Mobile Geeks, and right now we're going to compare our newly acquired OnePlus One smartphone with our Nexus 5 over here. Now the Nexus 5 is obviously a smaller device, you've got a 4.95 inch display, I think we can just call it 5 inches for the, for the sake of expediency, and right here on the OnePlus we have a 5.5 uh, inch display. So the first thing you'll notice if I put these devices side by side is that there is in fact quite a significant difference in how much screen real estate you're getting. Uh, we do have the software buttons here on the Nexus um, so over here we have the choice of using also software buttons but we've, I've decided to go for hardware buttons because that's my preference but I think this gives you a little bit extra screen uh, real estate so I prefer that. In terms of screen resolution though they're actually both 1080p screens which uh, you know they're both and they're both fantastic looking screens as well. Over here we have uh, an IPS Plus and over here we have uh, an I just plain old IPS. The difference between IPS Plus and IPS, I really couldn't tell you. But let me just say that both of these screens actually look fantastic, have great viewing angles, and there is no pixelation or anything. I think they're both looking pretty great. Um, in terms of how, how does this, ref how does the size difference actually relate to weight? Well, the Nexus 5 is 130 grams and considerably a good 32 grams lighter than the OnePlus One, which is 162 grams. So there is a difference there. If you've got this guy in your pocket, it's gonna be a different feeling from this chap. Not just because of the, the sheer size difference, but also because of the weight. But having said that, I mean, on both devices, you've got a very thin bezel line. So I think they're both really optimized. They're both giving you quite a lot of screen real estate for the size of the device themselves. Okay, let's have a quick look at the Nexus and actually put it side by side with the OnePlus to see the difference in thickness. So right here you can see actually the OnePlus is uh, 8.9 millimeters thick, whereas the Nexus 5 is 8, sorry, is 8.9 millimeters thick rather. Uh, the Nexus 5 is 8.6 millimeters thick. So the Nexus 5 is actually a thinner device than the OnePlus but it's only quite marginal. I think with the OnePlus, because you've got a slightly curved back, I think this maximum thickness is kind of right here in the middle, but around the edges, it does obviously feel uh, considerably thinner right here. Um, neither of these guys actually support uh, micro SIM cards, which is kind of unusual. It's one thing I think every phone should have is a micro, micro SD, rather well, not micro SIM, micro SD cards. But apart from that, uh, there are, there are actually other differences too. Over here, you're getting the Snapdragon 800, uh, plain old 800, which is a 2.3 gigahertz, and that's backed by two gigabytes of RAM. Over here on the OnePlus, however, we're getting uh, the Snapdragon 801, which is just a step above with a higher clock of 2.5 gigahertz and also a higher clocked Adreno 3, uh, 330 GPU as well. So technically speaking, gaming performance should be marginally better on this guy. And we've benchmarked uh, this chap and it's ve definitely in a similar vein to what we've seen on the Samsung. In fact, it is the same uh, SOC from Qualcomm that is used on the Samsung. So, um, what else is different? Oh yeah, also here, I, m I must add, a very important point, you're getting three gigabytes of RAM with your OnePlus compared to the two gigabytes I mentioned a second ago over here on the Nexus 5. Um, in terms of cameras, there are also quite considerable differences. You've got an eight megapixel uh, on the back here on the Nexus 5. This is um, with one LED, whereas over here on the OnePlus, you're actually getting a 13 megapixel camera, quite a... Uh, Nothing too fancy, not quite as good or in the realm as what we're seeing on the very latest Samsung, but still a very good camera, and that's backed by dual LED lights. Uh, while we're here on the back, you can see that they're both using very different finishes. Over here, you've got a very nice kind of what they call sandstone black finish, which kind of, kind of feels grained, kind of, I guess, like... Uh, it's plastic, but it kind of feels more like stone, it would be the best way to describe it. Over here on the Nexus 5, however, you're getting something which is much more rubbery. And of course you have etched into here the Nexus logo. The styling on the Cyanogen, you've got a very subtle one, which is kind of etched into here. It's not raised, it's kind of uh, some kind of laser etching with a Cyanogen logo here at the bottom. Of course, over here on the Nexus, we have the LG logo and very similar kind of uh, certifications at the very bottom. Uh, on the front, also there are differences in camera. You're getting a 5 megapixel over here on the OnePlus, whereas on the Nexus you're getting uh, only a 1.3 megapixel. In terms of battery, 
Interestingly, the Nexus 5 is a non-removable battery, so you can have a 2,300 milliamp hour one there, whereas this guy is a larger 3 uh, 3,100 milliamp hour battery. Um, now, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that will give the OnePlus the lead in uh, battery life stakes, just, just by a touch, perhaps, but uh, because, of, of course, you've got slightly larger screens of power as well, and also a higher clocked and faster CPU. So how that relates to battery life, I would still, I mean, we're not sure yet, we haven't done a thorough testing yet with using our battery testing app, but it w I, I would guess that this guy has the battery life. Now, in terms of pricing, these guys are uh, both in the kind of similar region. They're both very affordable and they're both available online. Some people are calling the OnePlus kind of the Nexus 5 killer. It's been, there's been a lot of comparisons between the two devices. And um, one of those comparisons, I guess, is because of the software involved. Over here we have Cyanogen, over here we have Google Nexus. They're both very similar, very vanilla uh, flavors of Android. Uh, I would say the Cyanogen is gonna give you more customization. But apart from that, software-wise, I mean, as you can see, if I pull down this drawer here, Oh, sorry, let's go back. Here you go, so we've got notifications, and then we have, yeah, so very similar thing happens over here. Although on the, like, Cyanogen are giving you a few more options here. You can actually turn on or off Bluetooth and several other things, for example. But as I mentioned, yeah, price. So this guy, uh, I think currently is still around 350 bucks, which is a great price for, for the device. And I think when, we, when it first arrived, we were absolutely bowled over and totally in love with it. But now, well, we have the OnePlus One, which is in the US for the 16 gigabyte version. This is actually a 64 gig version we have here. The 16 gigabyte version is available for a really aggressive price of only $300. So yeah, I mean, comparison wise, I would say the Nexus 5 has some very, very serious competition here with the OnePlus One phone. Anyway, this is me for Stu, uh, Stu for Mobile Geeks. Uh, if you've enjoyed this comparison video, please check out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think about these guys in the comments below. Thanks guys, bye-bye.